Hello, this is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Service Management Leadership. Today's video is the 11th in our series on request fulfillment, best practices, adapted from an article that I found written by Rodrigo Fernando Flores. I just kind of like saying that name. You would think with a name like Jeffrey T. Fertiller, I wouldn't love big names or I enjoy the names, just how diverse our our world really is. And in this video, I want to talk about dashboards, a service dashboard. We need to let our business customers know how are we doing. This is part of that customer satisfaction. This is part of the ability for them to know what they're getting, providing that expectation. So providing a dashboard for our business customers is the best way to create a shared understanding and ownership of those IT services. In IT, when we finally realize that it's our business that pays for our services, we produce dashboards like these to let them know how we're doing in supporting their needs, right? And so we want to use honest metrics and metrics that matter to our stakeholders. We care about using dashboards. Dashboards versus metrics are usually real time versus, versus lag. But we want to publish meaningful metrics. We want to let them see the behaviors of their team. And this is where the big part of the dashboard comes in. This is kind of a, I don't want to say secret, but it's not widely known. When you provide these dashboards to the business, not only are they getting a view of how your IT organization is performing, but maybe they see the maybe they see the behavior of their their teams. If a business owner sees that their group is ordering a bunch of mice keyboards, they're like, "Why are we doing this? Why are?" In addition, how about if they're ordering keyboards and mice and making those priority one, and that's just bad behavior? It allows you to have those conversations about expectations, right? And we also, allow, this allows us to market our performance. If we're performing great on these dashboards, can we go to the business and say, hey, what other services can we provide? What other things can we deliver since we're doing such an awesome job? What else can we provide for you? And the last thing about dashboards, they need to be short and sweet. They need to cover Plenty, but just enough. So if you're using dials, three, four, five is fine. You shouldn't have a hundred different metrics on a dashboard, even though some are, especially for service requests. There are, there's not that many meaningful, meaningful metrics we can provide. Think about cost of that service. Are we delivering it on or above cost? Time, are we delivering it on time or above time or longer. How about our dashboard of the relation of priority, different priorities, priority one, priority two, priority three, priority four, and allow those business customers to take a deep dive into their groups. There are other very easy metrics for us to display in a dashboard. This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel. Please like or share the video. Subscribe to our channel. Leave me feedback below. I'd love to hear from you, and I hope you have a great, great day. Bye.